What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mob, coming at y'all to show you guys how I dry my hair. Um, first of all, I want I need to put on my gloves because my hands are starting to feel a little bit sore. Um, so the first thing I do is I towel dry my hair. I got my gloves on backwards, but I don't keep it moving. It's I towel dry my hair. Yes, I know a lot of you guys went natural, and then y'all don't use towels no more. Y'all use t-shirts, but for what? For why? Because the towel might snag a strand, a one strand, maybe two, but listen, you'll live if you if you dry your hair with a towel. You will survive. Your hair will be okay. So I'm going to show you what I do. I just dry my hair with a towel. I got to get it out of my face first. Okay, so. Now that my hair is towel dried, I look down upon the towel and I don't see any strands of hair. Like, I don't know why people dry their hair with a t-shirt, but hey, if y'all research showed that it was much more better for your hair, then you go for it, okay? But I just towel dried my hair um, as good and dry as I could get it. So then I wait like 30 minutes to let it air dry and then I blow dry it. Real simple. I mean easiest one two three i try not to blow dry my hair when it's completely damp only to re reduce the amount of heat that i'm putting in my hair so therefore i won't have the heat on my hair longer than it should be you know longer than it need to be so the less heat on my hair the better but the reason why I do put the heat on my hair to assist in blow drying it is so that way I'll have, um, like when I air dry my hair is less tangly. So when I put the heat on it, it'll stretch it out a little bit. So that way I won't have to deal with, you know, my hair drawing up on my head because y'all do know I'm text like. So at my root, I got like, we kind of natural up in here. Y'all can see that. Y'all can see, clearly see that I got about this much new growth. Like for real, you can see. Cause it's wet now you can see it because i see it on camera i know y'all see it um so that's why i don't that's why i do put the heat on it so because on wash days and then especially i'm braiding it back up if i was to just air dry my hair girl i'm gonna be but we up in here and then somebody else down here and we ain't finna go through all of that we just gonna blow dry and keep it moving you know it stretches it out some so that way when you braid it up or when i braid it up or somebody braid it up it'll be smooth sailing and i can get through these here roots okay so three steps towel dry unless you want to use a t-shirt air dry blow dry that's it before you blow dry Always use a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant spray. Always. So now, I'm going to show you my leave-in conditioner of choice and also my, um, what you call it? Heat protectant. So hold on, let me go get it. Okay, y'all, so I am back with my, um, my protective spray and my leave-in conditioner so this is my leave-in conditioner of choice the cream of nature argan oil um leave-in conditioner this is what i use i don't know if y'all can see that but my hands got gloves on it so but anyways this is the argan oil cream of nature argan oil leave-in conditioner strength and after the actually it's a strength and shine leave-in conditioner so always use that after you deep conditioning and before you put the heat on your hair always 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 use the heat protectant this is the heat protectant that i love the most that i've been using the most and it's my absolute favorite okay so after i thought i had a favorite 
after watching 100 million zillion YouTube videos, they ran it and raved about this Tresemme heat protectant. Um, and I went out and got it, say, because I've been using this for years. And so I was like, huh, maybe I can get a better one. And then I went and got this one. And I find that this one is too wet for me. Because once my hair is um, towel dry, then air dry, and I spray this on it, it's like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's a little bit too wet. It's kind of like it wets my hair back up before I put heat in it. And I don't think that your hair should be like wet when you blow dry it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's good. Everybody like it though. But this is Tresemme heat protection up to 450 degrees. It's called the Thermal Creations Heat Tamer. Protects against heat damage. Leave-in spray. So, these are two. It's okay. It's okay, but I, it wasn't my... I still like this one. I've been using this for so many years, so I guess I'm just stuck on that one. Um, so, y'all see my hair is, like, getting drier because y'all can see the, the fullness coming back. So, uh, I'm going to just spray this in my hair. I'm going to just spray this conditioner in my hair. And then, on top of the conditioner, I put the heat protector. I got my same old gloves here. That's how you get gloves and put the fingers back out, y'all. In case y'all didn't know that trick. I'm pretty sure y'all knew that. But, I'm um, going to get these gloves. And, <laughs> y'all, we unedited right here this time, okay? I'm, I'm feeling, you know, okay today. So, all these videos are going to come on different days. But, please note they all done in the same day. So, um, just the FYI for y'all. I'm going to put this leave-in conditioner in first. And make sure it's in the, make sure it's on my roots real good. Why I keep saying roots, but what you call this part? The base of your hair shaft in here, your scalp part. Yeah. So just make sure it's on there real good. I know I done, I done got the frame. Okay, so. I do have a brand new bottle of this because I know I was going to be out. I got a brand new bottle, but let me use this one up first. I act like it don't want to spray all the way out. Yeah. Okay, so I got it in there. Make sure you pull your hat open, especially if you like stretch your relaxers. And by the way, I do stretch my relaxers, as y'all can tell. That's why I got so much new growth. My last relaxer was October. Three months ago. My last relaxer was three months ago. And um, make sure you get those ends. So the ends is the oldest, weakest part of your hair. And especially if you relax, ladies. Make sure you get those ends because a relaxer is already to some people. Damaging to your hair. Yeah, it damage your hair. But, hey, I'm happy and da-da-da-da-da. I'm loving it. So, I'm going to spray that on. Massage that in real good. And follow up with the heat protector spray. This heat protector spray also helps it um straighten up. Now, I did read all about the other heat protector spray, and I ain't said nothing about this one, and this is my favorite one. So, this is Silk... <coughs> Not too much. Silk Element. <laughs> Excuse me, good girl. Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray. For hair as soft and so smooth as silk. This helps, like when you blow dry your hair, it helps it straighten. It helps straighten it. This one, I don't believe it does that. This just protects against heat damage, you know. This helps my blow dryer smooth my hair out at the same time as protected against the heat. So, you know. Um, that's probably why I like this one so much. And this one has olive oil in it as well, you know. So, I'm going to go blow dry my hair. I don't think y'all need to see that because I pretty much think that y'all smart enough 
to know what it, you know, blow dry do. Blow and the heat come out and you know, the hair get dry. So I'll be back when I'm got, when I'm done blow drying to let y'all see what my hair look like. Okay. Mm. Okay y'all, so I am back and these are my results after my hair has been shampooed. Pre pooed, I guess. Pre shampooed and then shampooed and now deep conditioned and blow dried. Um Towel dried, air dried, then blow dried, okay? The reason why I do the towel dry and the air dry, like I said before, is to reduce the heating, reduce the amount of heat that I put on my hair from the blow dryer, okay? That's all. That's the only reason why I do all of that. So, these are my results. This is my hair. You know, as I look at this camera and I look at my crown of glory that the Lord has given me, I can truly say that I am thankful. Um, I've been through a lot in these past couple of months with my hair and my body. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I don't look like what I've been through. I know a lot of y'all say that a lot, but Lord, I just thank you for my hair. Um... You know, I'm not vain. I'm not a vain person, but um, as far as, you know, as my hair is concerned, as far as, you know, physical attractiveness is concerned, I'm just glad. I'm I'm thankful for my hair. I am. Um, I could be thankful for my hair without that side of conceited, right? Because, you know, God gave me this hair, and I'm, and I'm loving it. And that's my side view right there. Oh, my God. Uh, I might be bra strapping. <laughs> I don't think I'm bra strap length yet because I can touch my bra. And maybe if I maybe if I flat out it I'd be bra strap length. But who cares? Look at all this hair after losing so much of it, you know? Y'all see me come to y'all with pictures, you know, showing y'all handfuls of hair at a time. And And I blew, I blow dry my hair so my roots, I can comb through. I'm touching my roots, my roots, my scalp. And, um, you know, that's what the back, can y'all see the back of my hair? That's what the back of my hair look, looks like. And I'm going to... Hard for y'all, you know, to see. Like, ain't no bald spots in there no more, like it was. No more bald spots. All my bald spots filled up, you know. And this is it on the other side. And look how how thick it is, you know. It just it's amazing. I mean, it's amazing. Now I see why people, I see why people cut their hair and donate it to the Locks of Love, you know. But they don't want, they don't want no nigga hair, you know. So, um, not mine anyway. Uh, because after losing so much, I still got just as much as I lost. He, God gave me back just as much hair as the devil took away, you know. So I'm just gonna put it like that so um I do still have spots that are let me see if I can scoop down a little bit y'all can see like I'm gonna part it open in here cause this was like the most terrible spot like y'all seen that last time and it had like uh sprigs let's see if I can show y'all the sprigs <sighs> like the short spots you can see it cause it get like dark right up in there I can't really pull none that for y'all but like this see this short pieces they still in there but they growing like this right here short piece it's mixed with the long pieces so and you see that right there that was all of this was ball y'all i was like george jefferson around here like man i was not about to come on camera like that i was nope nope, nope. but i'm thankful i'm grateful you know that you know, I'm just, I am. 
Well, y'all, that's enough reminiscing and all of that stuff about my hair. So, I'm, I've showed y'all. I came, I saw, and I conquered. Um, probably won't be clipping no ends, though. Probably won't be doing that before I break it up, though. Not sure. Probably won't be chopping my hair off. Nope, I won't be chopping my hair off because I'm looking at it judging by how it looks now versus how it looks when it's dirty. When your hair is dirty and stuff, you won't get the right, you know, amount of answers as far as should you cut it or should you not because you can't really tell. But see how it's short there, you know, pieces had fell off. But, hey, put it all together and it becomes one big unit. And, um... I don't be cutting it. If I need to cut it, I'll do a big cut later on or something. But right now, I'm leaving it just like this. And I'm going to braid it back up. And we'll have a challenge. How about that, y'all? But stay tuned to my channel. We're going to find out what the challenge is. And that's all I have to say in this video, y'all. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.